Thank you, Arky, for that. Moving on to our quick hitters of the day. Arky, where are you starting out with your quick hitter? Uh, the Nuggets and the Mavericks uh, tonight. I'm going to go back to the association. Well, we got a really, really good matchup tonight. Uh, the Nuggets are 8-4 going against the Mavs, who are 9-4. and four. Uh, Both of these two teams, surprisingly, when you look at Dallas, also are pretty good defenses. Now, Denver is the number one defense uh, in terms of points allowed per game at 98 or so a game, and that is awesome. Uh, but Denver's not far behind. I think they're only giving up like three more points per game than are the Denver Nuggets, and that's a pretty good sign to pay attention to the total tonight, which yeah. is 216 and a half. Mm-hmm. Now, I pay attention to that because you don't normally think of these. this team is specifically, the Dallas Mavericks, being an under machine. But check this out, 2K. Both of these two teams combined are 18, 6, and 1 on the under this season. That is a massive trend you just can't ignore. Like, you can't ignore that trend at Mm -hmm. all. And I do like the fact that I'm also paying attention to a Denver team, even though they went over the total last night. They're just now leaving their house for the first time in two weeks. Okay, they've been home for two weeks, and they're going to Dallas tonight. It's the second game of a back-to-back, and they're having to travel for the second game of the back-to-back. I like the defense to travel, not the offense necessarily to travel. And I like the under 216 and a half tonight for the Mavs and the Nugs. <laughs> wow. Okay. I like that. I'm heading, staying in the NBA. Just kidding. Uh, Heat, 8-5 and five at Thunder, 5-7. and seven. The Heat have dropped to 5th in the East and the Thunder sit at 10 in the West. Uh, Miami is the 9.5 point favorite with a total of 208. This will be the final game of Miami's five-game road trip. So I'm going to take uh, Thunder here, plus nine and a half. How's that for a quick hitter? <clears throat> Just kidding. Uh, this okay, will, they, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of, actually kind of. He will be without Oladipo and Markeith Morris, while Bam Butler are both day-to-day. Uh, Thunder will be my, uh, minus Mike Muscala. But, you know, the Thunder were on a four-game winning streak until Brooklyn spanked them yesterday, so... The wins have been close for the Thunder, but they are nonetheless wins. Uh, meanwhile, the Heat went into this road trip 7-2, and two, Arky, and they are now 8-5. and five. So you do the math there. It's not been a great road trip for the Heat. I'm still going to keep this short and sweet, and I'm going to take the Thunder plus 9.5. And, and I hope that road trip has gotten to the Heat, and maybe, just maybe, the Thunder will play them close. This more or less hinges on whether or not my pal Jimmy Butler plays. So this one will probably be a game-time decision. I'm probably going to regret this definitely going to regret this but crazier things have happened so i like the thunder nine and a half let's get weird mm, wow wow okay mm. <laughs> okay okay i'm gonna say god bless you and i and i thank and you I hope, we're gonna I hope need it, it. Goes ni- i hope it goes nicely for you hey as uh, long as they lose within you know that margin that, that's true or if they that, surprise that, us and win that'd be great too yeah <laughs> that's true uh, my other quick hitter, I'm going to go uh, up or to the Pac uh, Nor, which is short for Pacific Northwest, oh, where Gonzaga, the number one team in the land when it comes to college hoops, is taking on Alcorn State. And that spread is 38 and a half points in favor Ooh. of Gonzaga. Yeah, that, that's a lot. And you would think, why, 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 Arky, bring up a nearly 40 point spread in a game tonight for a quick hitter, unless. You're planning something devilish. And, oh, 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 maybe I am. One thing I did want to bring up about this game real quick is that I just think it's interesting to pay attention to what some people and what teams have to do. Alcorn State has been up in the Pacific Northwest for a week now, over a week mm-hmm. now, because they this is their fourth game <clears throat> that they're having to play in the Pacific Northwest. Well, not having to. They scheduled it. Uh, because Alcorn State is one of those positions, like so many other smaller universities, they're having to spend a lot of time on the road to pay for the program with these pay games. In fact, I wanted to mention to you real quick, I, I wanted to read their schedule because they don't have a home game at all until January 15th. Whoa. I'm going to repeat that because it seems wild. That is Alcorn wild. Alcorn State does not have a single home game until January the 15th. It's November 15th, fam. Okay, seems a little it's unfair. No- Yeah, so uh, they started with Washington State, Seattle, Portland, Gonzaga. Then they have Southern Illinois after Thanksgiving, Milwaukee, Tulane, Houston, Wichita State, 
Tulsa, Baylor, Oklahoma, Minnesota, and then they have a few uh, conference games at home, or excuse me, on the road before uh, they actually get home against Jackson State, Alabama, a and so on and so forth. Like, no home games. It's bizarre. But they've played really, really well on the road. In fact, they've covered in, in, in three of those, in all three of those games, if I'm not mistaken. Washington State, I think, may have been a backdoor cover at the end. <clears throat> all court State's pretty, pretty well. And Gonzaga's coming off a 30, uh, excuse me, a big win over Texas uh, uh, this last weekend where they covered the spread on that one. But they didn't cover their uh, their uh, their uh, uh, other out-of-conference game to start the season. Uh, so, here we go. Give me all court State and my respect to the Braves. Plus 38 and a half tonight. Two, wow. Yeah, that's right. Two, the Gonzaga. Uh, what are they, Bulldogs still? Yeah, they're still the Bulldogs. <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck with that one, friend. Ah, thank you. Listen, it's 40 points. I don't know if you've been paying attention <clears throat> to college basketball early on this season, but there have been a lot of, do- a lot of dogs covering uh, big spreads against good teams uh, early on. So this one is the one I like to continue that trend. All right. Well, I'm also going to stay in the Pacific Northwest. Raptors at Trailblazers. Uh, Toronto, the one and a half dogs right now with a total of two, 14 and a half. Both teams are coming off losses. The Trailblazers got smoked by Denver, 124 to 95. Portland is five and nine against the spread and when being favored by a point and a half, which has been 10 times this season, Portland has covered five of those. The Raptors, on the other hand, are six and eight against the spread and the Raptors are five and four against the spread when playing as the one point. One and a half dogs. Uh, total has hit six out of 14 games for Portland and seven in Toronto's games. A lot of this depends on Dame, who is day to day. So give me Trailblazers uh, minus one and a half just for funsies, taking the home team. So that's what I'm doing there. Yeah, Trailblazers are interesting. That's a lot of games to have such a short spread on, like a lot of games early on. Yeah. Short. Yeah, so it's very, very interesting. Good note by you. Good, good nugget. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 